What's up, guys? So we're back, and today, today what I want to talk about is how to actually diagnose problems in our business. Uh, and I want to share this because when I first started marketing online, I didn't really understand this. I didn't learn this really well until I was working in a $20 million coaching company as a sales rep. And I had to really understand this. And, uh, and so when it comes to diagnosing business problems, like let's say you may think I'm not getting as many sales as I want, or people aren't like whatever your strategy may be, like this applies to any strategy, whether you're using a funnel um, and you're getting email opt-ins and then they're getting onto your email list and then you're sending out automated emails that get people to buy, whether you're using a community, like communities on school or a Facebook group, you're getting people into the Facebook group and then you're reaching out to them and then you're getting people to buy, people are coming into your school community, you're DMing them, getting on calls with them and getting people to buy, or you're just doing direct outreach. You're just manually outreaching to each potential client, getting into a conversation in the DMs, getting onto a call, and then closing them into your offer. No matter what your scenario is, this framework is what will help you diagnose problems uh, when you're not getting the results that you want to see. And out of all of those examples, there's one commonality. All those different examples, different strategies, the one thing that's the same between all of them is that they take the potential prospect from point A, where they don't know anything about you, they haven't really heard of, heard of you, to point B, where they become a customer. And, and there is, and, and so that means that there is a specific journey that they go along and different activation points, different things that have to happen to get them to go from not knowing who you are to them buying your products or services. And so what this means is we can actually map this out. We can map out what this journey is. And we need to be able to look at this from a high level view and see the whole thing to diagnose a problem. Most of the time what we do, especially if we're just getting started, is we look at the end result. And we say, there's not enough customers coming in. Like, ah, uh, like what? Maybe I should change the whole strategy. And it's like, what we really should do is look at this like I like to use a plumbing analogy for this. And I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get into it. Uh, because there's this concept in business called throughput. And what I want you to think about is I want you to think about water going through a pipe. And and we're gonna draw this out to make it really simple. But if if you have this really large pipe, right? And and the water is the leads, it's the potential customers coming into the pipe. And then they're going through this process. The process is the actual pipe. And at the other end of the pipe is sales, customers. Well, if in the middle of the pipe there's a giant clog or the pipe is constricted, well, there's not going to be anything coming out the other end. And then you're going to go, oh, like it's not working. This doesn't work. I need to get a whole new pipe. When really it's like just remove the clog. So this is the way that we diagnose business problems. And we look at where the clog is. And so let me draw this out so it makes more sense for you. Some people are really visual. I know that I am. And so what we'll do is I'll use the the common like coaching strategy where people are selling coaching services. Okay, so what we have here is we have this pipe and I am not an artist, so please do not critique my drawing or, or critique it, you know, do whatever you want to. <laughs> so, okay, here is the pipe. I'm just going to draw this quick. I'm not going to take my time and make it all fancy. There we go. That looks like a pipe, right? And then we have this water spigot. That's what this is. You know, like the kind that are like outside by your garden hose. That's the, this is the handle. That's what that's supposed to be. That turns the water on. And the, 
So this is how you know, like, oh yeah, water comes out of there, drops of water. So for our business process, this is, this is where the water is leads, right? Leads. And what comes out the other end of this pipe, when the water comes out the other end, you have sales, money, okay? And so maybe your process looks something like this. First of all, you have to know what your pipe actually does. And so maybe it's something like, and this is a really common one. Uh, I'll just use, the, this is the same process. I'll use the process that I used last year to, to collect 100K in revenue. This was the process. Um, so what I would do was I would add, and I'll label this. Um, so the leads was Facebook friends. Right. And then we had people joining. We had a Facebook group. Once they joined the Facebook group, we would have DM. Oops, that's a B. DM convos. Then we had fifteen minute call. That's what this one was. Then we had actual sales call. And I'll explain all this stuff in just a second. Just bear with me while I, while I write this out. And then sometimes we had, oops, let me move my picture. There we go. Follow up calls. And that was this one. And so this was the process. Leads would come in right here. They would join the Facebook group. Like I would, I would friend request new people, like manually going into different Facebook groups, finding people who are potential leads, friend requesting them. Then they would see my content on my Facebook profile. And in that content on my Facebook profile, I would I would, ha I would be talking about my Facebook group. I wouldn't be talking about my program. I would just talk about the Facebook group because that was the next step in the pipe. Get people into the Facebook group. And once they joined the group, then I would have DM conversations with people who joined the group. Those DM conversations, and we had different active point, activation points within the group to start these DM conversations, uh, whether it's when they initially joined or by them commenting on content, on training. And once they... Once we were in a DM conversation, then we would move them to a 15 minute call. And this is where we would qualify that, make sure like they actually had the problem that we solved, make sure that they were actually able to solve it, um, that they wanted to have it solved, that they had the financial resources to be able to do that. And then if they were qualified, we would have a sales call with them. And then on that sales call, they would either enroll, say no, or we would have a follow up scheduled later, usually because of logistics, they needed to move money around or, or whatever. And then we'd have a follow up call. And then we'd have sales. And at any point in time, when we weren't making the sales that we wanted to make and this happened, it's not like it was just all like, rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> like there was times where it's like, I think last July, we made zero for the whole month. And so what we did is we looked at the pipe. We're like, what's going on? Okay, people are joining the group. Uh, and so, before I go into what happened there, this is why this is really important. When you know the process that people have to go through to be able to buy, if people, here's the thing, if like, 
if I know that I'm really good on my follow-up calls and I usually close and I'm really good at my sales calls and I usually close, like if, I, if I'm good here, if I have this skill, I have this skill, I have this skill and I can do it and I'm like, but I'm still not making any money, what's going on? Well, most likely there's a clog in the pipe somewhere up here. It's like, well, how many DM conversations am I having? New DM conversations. How many am I starting? Zero? Well, eventually all the calls on your calendar are going to, they're going to go away. Like you're going to have calls on your calendar, but you're going to hold those calls. And then if you're not having DM conversations, then no new calls are being booked. And if no new calls are being booked, right, then you're not going to get any sales <laughs> if this is your pipe, right? So we have to be able to look at the whole thing instead of just looking at the output here of like this is what I want to happen and it's not happening what we always do when we're diagnosing this is we go from the end goal backwards so I'm like okay well am I doing follow-up calls and sales calls I'm not well how come well it's because I'm not doing any of these triage calls well how, why how come I'm not doing any triage calls well I'm not booking any because I'm not having enough DM conversations and it's like, okay, well, how come I'm not having enough DM conversations? Are people joining the Facebook group? No. It's like, well, how come new people aren't joining the Facebook group? Are you, am I, am I even adding new people to my network? No, oh, I'm not. It's like, that's the problem. The, the problem in that scenario is like this spigot is literally turned off. And it's like, well, you need new people to come through, come through the pipe, right? Um, and, uh, and it's like, well, you could say, well, I am adding new people every day. I am adding them. I am getting people to join my group. I am having these DM conversations. But for whatever reason, I'm not booking this next call. And it's like, okay, well, most likely that means that my DM conversations suck and I need to get better at them. I need to like figure out what I'm doing wrong in these DM conversations because they should be converting to calls. And so whatever your process is, like this was just an example of what, what my process looked like. No matter what your process is, whether you're taking calls, whether you have an affiliate link, and that's all you're doing, um, whether you're, you're growing a school community, whether you're trying to get people into a free school community, this right here could be your free community. And all you're doing is you're getting onto social media, you're start having DM conversations, and then you're suggesting the free community. Maybe, you know, if it's just a free community, maybe some of these steps are taken out of the equation, which will make it a little bit easier to diagnose what's going wrong. Um, so, but whatever your process is, like I encourage you to like map this out. Like, okay, what steps happen to get people to go from like where they're at and where I find them to where I want them to go? And once you know that sequence of steps, if the end result isn't happening, you work your way backwards. You say, okay, well, is the thing before that happening? If it's not, why? And then you're like, okay, well, is the thing before that happening? If it's not, like, why? If the thing before that is happening, then you're like, oh, well, this is, this is where I need to drill down and focus on. <laughs> like my little sound effects there. But that, that's, what, that's what lets you know what part of the pipe to focus on. And it's funny because once you know what part of the pipe to focus on, it's like once you get all of this clear and all of this water, the leads can run all the way through and you're getting, you're getting sales, you're getting results. Now, the next thing that you have to do is you go back up here to the faucet, whatever your faucet is, maybe it's ads, maybe it's outreach, maybe it's like whatever it is, maybe it's organic content or a combination of all three and you turn this up. Turn it up. This is how you grow. And then once you turn it up, more water is going to be running through here and you're going to identify another clog somewhere in the system. Now all this stuff can be working, but maybe it's not going to be working that well once it's handling more volume. And there's going to be another clog and then you drill down and you figure out what part of the pipe do I need to focus on. You drill down on it. You relieve that clog. And then you look at how the system is flowing again. And this is, this is like business fundamentals, 
Um, and it's not very it's not very specific because everybody's pipe, your your pipeline may look different. Your what your throughput looks like may be different. Um, because everybody's is, right? We all have a different process, but this is like the framework and the principles that I use and that I have used, that I continue to use and that I teach other people when it comes to how we think about our, our growth and the problems that we may be experiencing in our business um, that just works. And so um, one of the things, uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. If it is, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've seen or heard of this before. Um, if you've been in business for a while, you've probably heard about the phrase throughput, but this is the way that I like to think about it because it's like the more water that we can have going through the pipe, the more sales that we get, right? So we constantly want to be expanding these pipes um, and we do that through work, work and improvement in these different areas, whatever your pipe may look like. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, like I said, I know it's not very detailed and, and very specific because each business is different. Uh, something that I do inside of my marketing VIPs community is we look at what this looks like for you specifically. Um, and, and we map this out like individually because it's not like a cookie cutter type thing. Uh, if you want to check that out, um, there'll be a link somewhere around this. But anyways, I hope that was helpful and we will see you guys in the next one.